What's up there? In this tutorial, I'll be showing you the dynamic or free vibration analysis of laminated uh, rectangular plate in uh, Abacus. So let's start now. Oh, first, let's run your Abacus software. Now you have to first set the working directory. By default, it would be the temporary folder in the C drive. Better to change this to the drive the directory where you want to work after you share the temporary uh, working directory then go for making the part or sketch here I'll be sketching a square dimension 1 so first input the thickness click ok now the part is made because I want to make it three layer laminated plate and here I have to partition what I do is first partition this edge with the required dimension after I partition the edge with the required dimension then I'll go for partition partitioning the cell Here I make the datum. Remember to save your project every now and then. Now the now is the time to input the material uh, properties because I'll be using zero and ninety degree ply layer. So first I'm inputting the zero degree material property so this way you will input your material constant use your own material constants similarly you can uh, provide the material constants for uh, 90 degree layer after you finish uh, inputting the material constants then uh, you can go for creating sections as I input two different uh, material layers so I'll make two different sections one for material layer of zero and another for material layer of 90 degree now is the time to assign the sections to different layers after that you can uh, go for assigning material orientation Next step is assembly. Here, make sure to choose the independent parts. 
this is a very crucial step because in this step we'll provide whether we want uh, the dynamic static analysis here you input the number of frequencies you want Now is the time to set the boundary conditions. In the x direction, we restrict the x displacement and the vertical z displacement. And along the y direction, we restrict the Y displacement and the vertical displacement that is U2 and uh, U3. Now is the time to uh, seed the edges. Stabacus, you have to seed the edges first. You can press the shift key uh, while selecting the edges. Now all the edges have been uh, seeded uh, as per my requirement then coming to mess in the mess you'll give the element type after you assign the element type then it's uh, time to mess the instance Okay, now messing is done. Okay. Here we give the name uh, for dissolve. Let's say S is 10. Okay, after you create this up, now is the time to submit for the analysis. Wait for some time until the analysis is finished. Now the analysis is done. Uh, when the analysis is done, you'll get a message like this. Now come to visualization and open the ODB file to see the result. So this is the first mode save. So this is second mode save, third, fourth, fifth because I have given only five numbers if you find this dialog boxes were uh, not visible you can increase the font size now it's visible if you want to get the number of uh, all the frequencies you can move to that folder your working folder and from the dat file here you get all the frequencies cycles for time 